Back 5-11, the weather ball blinking bright. We've got more rain to get to in the view brought to you by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. One more chilly day before we're going to start to see temperatures bouncing back. 46 in GR at the airport. North winds at 8. A few sprinkles in Kent County as we speak. But the heaviest rain along and south of I-94, close to the center of that low pressure, which is right now draped across the Michigan-Indiana line. Some light rain to the north in Big Rapids, Morley, and Stanwood south into Grand Rapids, Kentwood, and Caledonia. A bit of a lull between Grand Haven and Holland, but it really picks back up again to the south. This is where it's coming down. Kalamazoo, Calhoun, and Branch counties getting dumped on in the 40s to the south. So temperatures fairly uniform out there. 43 in Spring Lake, or 46 in Spring Lake, 43 in Saranac, in the mid 40s in Pentwater, Hart, and Shelby. Did you see Saturday night sunset? Well, Mike did in Grand Haven captured this gorgeous photo and shared it with us via Facebook. Love this shot. If you have any pictures you'd like to share, keep them coming on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The next 48 hours shows that area of low pressure finally pulling away, but it's still close enough to us to provide a few light rain showers this afternoon. I think we'll also start to see a few peaks of sun towards sundown. Tomorrow looks fantastic with mostly sunny skies and temperatures significantly warmer. The next system arrives on Wednesday and it's going to provide just a few light sprinkles. So uh, Lake Michigan forecast today, waves between one and two feet, water temperatures in case you're planning on uh, taking a dip are chilly in the 30s and 40s. Right now, 39 degree water temperature at Duck Lake State Park. Your 13 on target forecast. So just a slight chance for a shower today. Much of your Monday is dry. We'll get a break tomorrow. Uh, another round of light rain Wednesday and Thursday, but look at the temperatures. We're back in the 70s Friday and Saturday. That's good news. Also good news. Overnight lows are going to continue to climb as well. It's going to become increasingly humid as we head towards the weekend and early next week. So guys, we're headed in the right direction.